Buenas tardes, good afternoon. We're at the before Transmontania, La Palma, with Emily Forsberg from Team Salomon, Sweden. Bienvenida. You coming? <laughs> so, Emily, uh, could you please um, introduce yourself a bit for the Spanish audience who might not be uh, quite familiar with this wonder girl that came over one year ago and became a world champion of skating? Yes, that was a big surprise. <laughs> I didn't know it myself. But, uh, my first race was the Gamma, and I just wanted to try, and Solomon said, yeah, go for it. We wanted to try it, and I really liked it. And I decided that I wanted to try more races because we don't have so many sky races in Sweden. Mm -hmm. So I took race after race, and I, after every race, I felt, do I want to do more? I want to do more. <laughs> and uh, so it, the season just went on like that. How could it be that you, you know, entered Segama, which is a technical, demanding race, uh, a very competitive field? And immediately clicked it out. I mean, you've you've had mountaineering and climbing. And how much of mountaineering and climbing have you done? And how did you manage to do it being a Swede? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have mountains in Sweden, and I also have been living in the Norwegian mountains for a while. And I just love being up every day and to move from A to B and to climb mountains. And I haven't raced so much before, but you know, just being out there and I always been out when I was a kid, so you get you get the you, you can run in the terrain if you have been out for a long time. Okay, so it's probably that the coming together of three things, you know, the endurance that you built up, yeah. the, the um, proprioception or balance or technique yeah. that you got while climbing. Yeah, I think that's important. And from when you're a kid, the perception mm. of knowing where to put your feet and you mm. don't have to look down, you can like look up. And obviously quite a strong will to compete because I mean, uh, we've had uh, samples, perhaps perhaps one of the most beautiful but the Cabal's del Vent race last year where uh, uh, as an aficionado for me uh, perhaps it was the, one of the first times where the ladies race was as interesting as the men's if not more because the, the show that you and Anna and Nuria put on was wonderful how did it feel to be... Yeah, it was my first, you know, long race and I said to myself that I just want to try. So I went out and I think I was alone for the first 42k and I was in green and I was just, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I was a bit, shall I slow down? And then Nuria and Anna catched me and then we were running a bit together. And then after eight hours, I was just, wow, I have never been running more than eight hours. And then my mind started to get so tired. <laughs> like that's where I was tired because I wasn't tired when I entered the finish line and the day of the Kavais I was fresh. I went out for a run and I was really recovered. Mm -hmm. So I think the first long race was all about my mind. Oh. But it was really nice to do it with Nuria and Anna to, uh, to share Well of course when, when competing at that level obviously they quite an intense concentration. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it was the first time, you know, mm -hmm. and you're always a bit I was a bit nervous and never tried it and <laughs> But uh, you liked it, right? yeah, because yeah, you have chosen to go deeper and deeper into it. So what would your key objective for 2013 be? Because, I mean, your first season, I mean, world champion, <laughs> so yeah, I, quite a challenge for 2013. Yeah, no, no, it's not. I, my main goal is to keep enjoying every race. And, mm -hmm. and I just want to do, as I did last year, take race after race. And if I don't want to do it, if I feel tired, not motivated, I wish I, I'm, I'm not going to do it and it just wants me mm. to keep that feeling that I have the ability to say no, I don't want mm. it anymore, I want to, I can't do this race or mm. yeah, I just want to take race after race. Alright, so um, some races that you're looking up for 2013? Yeah, I have many races that I want to do, <laughs> a lot of races, so I hope I can do them. But we'll see you at Segama? Yes, yeah, Segama and then um, Mont Blanc Marathon and the mm. Vertical. And then Killian's Classic, hopefully, mm -hmm. and Ice Trail, and European Championship, mm -hmm. maybe Speedgoat, and U-Tracks, right. and Limone. Quite a loaded calendar. Not, eh? <laughs> and Euroc, maybe. Do you recover well from your yeah, long I races? Do. Yes, I said on Kavais, I was mm -hmm. fresh after 
the day of. Um, <laughs> <laughs> will you ever see you racing back in uh, Sweden? Any because there are ultra trails in Sweden, but yeah. they are quite flat. Yeah, and that's the thing. I don't really like flat. Mm -hmm. It's so much other things to do, and there's also a nice. We have a Salomon Trail tour in Sweden, which I do, and that's more trail. And mm -hmm. I really, I really like ra racing in Sweden. Mm -hmm. So I, every year I do some races there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and do you see some uh, evolution upon yourself in the months that you have been heavy into this? Uh, like, do you find yourself um, a tougher climber or a faster downhiller? Or have you seen? Uh, right now, I'm just in the beginning, so I don't really know. But I think after my ski mountain season, mm -hmm. that I can hopefully be a stronger climber because that's where I I am quite good in downhill because mm -hmm. I like the technical and I can run fast. But um, I hope to improve my climbing this season. All right. Well, thank you very much, Emily. Um, best of luck. Thank you. And the next race.